with a relentless commitment to safeguarding the nation's interest. The Nigerian Navy employs cutting-edge technology and strategic prowess to detect and thwart smuggling activities and ensure the free flow of legitimate trade while disrupting the illicit networks that seek to exploit the maritime domain. Narcotics and other controlled drugs smuggled into Nigeria through our borders has been of great concern. In adherence to her constitutional mandate, the Nigerian Navy has demonstrated tremendous commitments in tackling this ugly trend. Welcome to the world of the nation's maritime sentinel. It is the Nigerian Navy in focus. I am Ulua Toyosi Awotunde, your guiding compass on the high seas. Before setting sail properly, let's navigate through the week's official activities with Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, in the Admiralty Logbook. On the Admiralty Logbook this week, the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, was on Tuesday, 12th December 2023, at the Upper Chamber of the National Assembly for the Nigerian Navy Budget Defense. The Chairman, Senate Committee on the Nigerian Navy, His Excellency Distinguished Senator Otumba Olubenga Daniel, chaired the session. On same day, the Spanish Ambassador to Nigeria, His Excellency Juan Ignacio Sell, was at the Naval Headquarters for a cutsy visit. He was received by the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechiko Ogala. Earlier, on Monday 11th December 2023, the Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechiko Ogala, attended the opening ceremony of the Chief of Army Staff Quarterly Conference in Meiduguri, the Borono State Capital, hosted by Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja. The special guest of honor was the President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR. Other distinguished personality at the event are Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru Abubakar, the Governor of Borono State, Babagana Umara Zulum, the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu, Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal H.B. Abubakar, Chief of Defense Intelligence, Major General EPA Undiandi, among others. On Friday 8th, December 2023, the Director General and CEO Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency Nimasa, Dr. Bashir Jamo, was at the Naval Headquarters for a working and cuts a visit in a quest to deepen the relationship between Nimasa and the Nigerian Navy for the collective good of the Nigerian maritime industry. The Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral E. Ayogala, was the special guest of honor at the Naval Officers' Wives Association, NOAA Christmas Carol, themed the Prince of Peace. The CNS, in his remarks, called for the need to reflect on the essence of the season. He stressed that Christmas is a season to show kindness and people should embrace the spirit of generosity. The carol, which was hosted by the wife of Chief of the Naval Staff and National President of Naval Officers' Wives Association, NOAA, Mrs. Ijeoma Ogala, held as Armed Forces Officers' Mayor's Abuja on Sunday, 10th December 2023, with the National President of Defense and Police Officers' Wives Association, DEPOA, Mrs. Ogogo Gwabin Musa, a special guest. The Chief of the Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, attended the fourth edition of the Chief of Defense Staff, Armed Forces and Security Agencies Half Marathon Championship held at Aguiyronsi Cantonment, Abuja, on Saturday 9th December 2023. The event had 250 military athletes representing 13 security agencies.
In recent years, Nigeria's maritime domain has witnessed increased activities, leading to a rise in national security threats and criminalities. However, under the leadership of Vice Admiral Emmanuel Kechuko Gala, Admiralty Medal, the 22nd Indigenous Chief of the Naval Staff, the Nigerian Navy has taken decisive action to address these challenges. They have deployed officers and men to strategic units and operation bases, utilizing advanced technologies for surveillance and intelligence gathering. Adhering to the directive of the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on the need for collaboration in the fight against insecurity and criminal activities, the Nigerian Navy, under the leadership of Vice Admiral Ogala, has recorded more gains through collaborating with other forces, stakeholders, institutions and government agencies. Several successes have been recorded in operations against drugs and narcotics, oil bunkering, piracy and smuggling. From the months of July to December 2023, the Navy made several arrests, seizures and prosecutions that have significantly contributed to countering criminal activities, especially drug trafficking, which is often the catalyst for other crimes. One significant contributing unit to the fight against criminal activities is the Nigerian Naval Patrol teams of NNS Beecroft. Between July and December 2023, they executed successful operations, demonstrating dedication to their duties and following the strategic directives of the Chief of Naval Staff. These operations were made possible by the use of state-of-the-art intelligence gathering technology known as the Falcon Eye, alongside human intelligence. As a result, over 800 bags of cannabis sativa were confiscated at various times and locations, including a Beju Leki, a Ware Badagri, and a local beach. Furthermore, the Nigerian Navy's operations base, the NNSB Croft, played a vital role between July and December in responding to emergencies at sea and supporting naval operations near the coast of Badagri and Badagri Porto Novo Creek. This area is susceptible to piracy, illegal bunkering, and smuggling. The base actively participated in anti-smuggling operations and achieved significant progress in combating crimes. During this period, numerous arrests and seizures were made by the base, including the arrest of five suspects and the seizure of approximately 63,840 litres of smuggled petrol worth about 40,071,800 naira. Additionally, the base confiscated 98 bags of foreign rice valued at 4.9 million naira, alongside 40 bags of suspected cannabis sativa worth around 40.5 million naira. All narcotics were handed over to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, for further action. In November 2023, Operation Water Guard was launched in the Badagri General Area by the Western Naval Command under the leadership of Rear Admiral M.B. Hassan in a resolute move to combat smuggling, piracy, oil theft and other illicit activities plaguing the maritime space. Barely one month into this collaborative operation involving deployment of maritime, land and air assets is already yielding tremendous results. Working with other tax forces, more arrests and seizures have been made while also destroying three wooden boats and various smuggling equipment in Iyafin Badagri. The Nigerian Navy seized and surrendered to the NDLEA 59 and a half bags of cannabis sativa valued at 85.2 million naira. Also in the early hours of 7th December 2023 at the Lagos Anchorage, Operating under the Nigerian Navy ship Beecroft's patrol team, under the strategic leadership of the Commander Nigerian Navy ship Beecroft and Maritime Component Operation Awatsi, Commodore Kolawole Olumide Oguntuga, successfully intercepted 
a huge wooden boat laden with over 120 bags of narcotics suspected to be cannabis sativa. At the time of arrest, the illicit drugs weighed about 5,250 kilograms as the two foreign suspects were arrested. The wooden boat has been confiscated along with its illicit cargo and suspects identified as Mr. Emmanuel Doecher and Mr. Godswill John Olamide, both from Ghana, have been handed over to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency for further investigation and necessary action. I'm sure the consignments were coming from Benin Republic and then of course they are bringing them into Lagos State but unfortunately, you know, due to the patriotic nature of the men that were deployed, you know, they were able to intercept it, intercept the boats, and stopped it from entering into the, the market. Of course, we understand the relationship between drug abuse, crime, violence, and criminality. So, what we are trying to do is to break the jinx, you know, to make sure that these drugs does not enter into the society, and by so doing, we will uphold national security. And I'm trying to convey here now that the Nigerian Navy will not stop. We will continue to make sure we go after perpetrators of this crime and make sure they are brought to book, no matter whose ox is God. One of my brother came to me and called me that somebody said we should come and carry a market corn for a new roof for somebody. So, uh, about, let's say, last Monday, we go to Ghana and they load one boat. I can't ask my brother which market of you say or Krika. Say, this will work. Me, I never go before. You say, if you know, say now, nah, fisherman will be for you. You say, man, nobody say now, nah, Krika, they say, make a follow. On. I can't call one of my senior brother, tell him, say, say, if I show me, I follow. On. I can't follow. I don't know, say now, nah, this kind of market will be inside. First of all, I can't ask him, say, where will they go? You say, will they come on you? The unwavering efforts of Forward Operation Base FOB Badagri since March 21 have led to the apprehension of six suspects and the confiscation of 63,840 litres of petrol, 98 bags of foreign rice and 99 and a half bags of cannabis sativa with an estimated worth of 163,984,000 naira. These intensified efforts have significantly reduced smuggling activities, ensuring a safer and more secured maritime environment that promotes legitimate economic activities. On November 24, 2023, a joint operation between the Navy's Forward Operation Base and the NDLEA at Boni Local Government Area of River State resulted in the raid and apprehension of four suspected illegal drug peddlers. Substantial amounts of cocaine, cannabis sativa, and methamphetamine were recovered and handed over to the NDLEA for further investigation and appropriate action. Similarly, a patrol team from the forward operation Base Badagri raided another suspected hideout of drug peddlers in Badagri local government area of Lagos State. Although the suspects managed to evade arrest, 10 bags of suspected cannabis sativa worth about 15 million naira were confiscated. The Nigerian Navy has actively engaged in the fight against drug trafficking and other criminal activities, yielding commendable outcomes. From July 2023 to the present, they have apprehended 83 drug traffickers and seized 562 bags of cannabis sativa worth over 780 million naira. These criminals have been handed over to the NDLE for further investigations and prosecutions. The increase in arrests serves as an indication of the growing demand for illicit drugs in Nigeria, which correlates with heightened criminal activities that naval commanders and officers must relentlessly combat. In less than a year since the appointment of Chief of the Naval Staff, Emmanuel Kechuk Ogala, the Admiral has demonstrated that it is one of his priorities, intensifying partnership with stakeholders, 
institutions and agencies of government pursuing and practicalizing the principle of burden sharing. Under the CNS Ogala leadership, the Navy is also exploring full-scale use of available state-of-the-art technology to effectively combat the emerging complexities in criminality and crime in the maritime domain. It is also clear that the Nigerian Navy officers and men, while showing dedication in safeguarding Nigeria's maritime domain, have the desired competencies and competent leadership should be accorded more resources and support to face challenges and consolidate maritime security achievements. This is in the interest of national security, economic growth and development for a prosperous national future. Get ready to drive into the world of the Nigeria Navy as Nigeria Navy in Focus, a captivating TV program, takes you deep into the heart of the activities of the nation's maritime centennial. Join us as we navigate the waters alongside the brave men and women of the Nigeria Navy who have dedicated their lives to this noble cause, their hopes, dreams, sacrifices, and triumphs. Experience their courage, their resilience, and their unwavering commitment to serving the nation and protecting her waters and relentless pursuit of safeguarding our maritime borders. Let Nigeria Navy in focus transport you to the seas where bravery meets honor and the depths hold countless untold stories. Every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on the Nigerian Television Authority NTA International. Every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on Television Continental TVC. Every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. on Channels Television and The Navigator. Every Thursday on Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FRCN. Don't miss out on this unmissable TV experience. It is the Nigerian Navy in focus. And it is all about the Nigerian Navy. Onward, together. Yuyu Sharuk, representing Rear Admiral H.D. Zakarai, the Flag Officer Commanding Naval Doctrine Command, inaugurated the Free Medical Outreach on Thursday, December 7, 2023, in the Lafayette community of Lagos Island East Council, Lagos State. The event offered various services, such as public health talks, complimentary eye examinations, distribution of sanitary pads for secondary school girls, treated mosquito nets, blood sugar tests, blood pressure checks, and vital signs assessments. Admiral Superintendent Naval Dockyard Limited, Rear Admiral A.A. Oredo, organized a free medical rhapsody for Oniru community in Victoria Island, Lagos, on Thursday, 7th December 2023. The Nigerian Navy Forward Operating Base, Boni, conducted a two-day community service and medical rhapsody to the residents of Boni Island on December 6th and 7th, 2023. The initiative aimed to enhance the well-being and prospects of the people in the Boni community, offering services such as complementary medical checkups, consultations, environmental sanitation, and the distribution of exercise books and sanitary pads to schools. Thursday, December 7, 2023. Sergeant Captain U.I. Okiki, the command medical officer, initiated the free medical rhapsody at Stongeji Island in Bavagri, Lagos State, as part of the headquarters Western Naval Command's outreach efforts. Commodore A.U. Ochebodi, representing Rear Admiral S.J. Bura, the Flag Officer Commanding Central Naval Command, inaugurated a free medical rhapsody on Thursday, December 7, 2023, in the Ovum community area of Yenugwa, Bayelsa State. This initiative, aligned with civil military relations and Chief of Naval Staff Strategic Directors, encompassed a variety of medical services, including a public health talk, vital science check, 
blood pressure check, blood sugar test, distribution of treated mosquito nets, and free eye examinations. Nigerian Naval Engineering College, Sapele, conducted a free medical rhapsody for its host community in Sapele local government area of Delta State on Saturday, 9th December 2023. As a culmination of the Nigerian Navy's year-end activities, Commodore M.Y. Dahiru, commander of Nigerian Navy ship We, in collaboration with Captain I.K. Chukuka, commander of Nigerian Navy Reference Hospital, Ojo, led a free medical outreach and community service in the Uriade Local Council Development Area of Lagos on Thursday, October 26, 2023. The event featured a health talk on hypertension and offered free medical consultations, including blood tests, eye examinations, dental checks, and malaria treatment. On Friday, December 8, 2023, the Nigerian Naval Engineering College in Sapele, Delta State, hosted the graduation ceremony for Officers Application Course 21, Artificial Course A34B and A36A, and various professional courses for ratings. On Saturday, December 9, 2023, the Nigerian Navy Forward Operating Base, Ibokoda, organized a free medical rhapsody for its host community in Ibokoda, situated in the Ilache local government area of Ondo State. On Friday, December 8, 2023, at the Naval Air Base in Ojo, Lagos, Rear Admiral Z.S. Mohammed, the Chief of Training and Operations, representing the Chief of the Naval Staff, conducted the commissioning of 12 Comstrack System Aviation Unmanned Aerial Vehicles UAVs alongside the endorsement of the updated local operating procedure and local training order. Resolute commitment of the Nigerian Navy in safeguarding the nation's waterways not only disrupts smuggling but also fosters an environment conducive for economic growth and prosperity. As the sun sets on another day, the guardians of Nigeria's maritime domain stand vigilant, ready to face the challenges that lie beneath the surface. Together, Let's ensure a safer and drug-free maritime environment and nation at large. With this, we conclude our maritime journey on the Nigerian Navy in focus today. Thank you for being a part of this exciting journey. I am Ulua Toyasi Awutunde. Onward together. Get ready to drive into the world of the Nigerian Navy as Nigerian Navy in Focus, a captivating TV program, takes you deep into the heart of the activities of the nation's maritime centennial. Join us as we navigate the waters alongside the brave men and women of the Nigerian Navy who have dedicated their lives to this noble cause, their hopes, dreams, sacrifices, and triumphs. Experience their courage, their resilience, and their unwavering commitment to serving the nation and protecting her waters and relentless pursuit of safeguarding our maritime borders. Let Nigerian Navy in focus transport you to the seas where bravery meets honor and the depths hold countless untold stories. Every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. on the Nigerian Television Authority NTA International. Every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on Television Continental TVC. Every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. on Channels Television and The Navigator. 
data every Thursday on Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria FRCN. Don't miss out on this unmissable TV experience. It is the Nigerian Navy in focus. And it is all about the Nigerian Navy. Onward together.